Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to start our review of the Body Media Fit. Now, before we get into that, um, I want to let you guys know that this is my 400th video uploaded to YouTube, and we're at 2,800 subscribers and counting. We're going strong, and I want to thank all of you guys for your support out there. Subscribe to our YouTube page here, our fans of us on our Facebook fan page, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you for your support. I know this t-shirt says that I'm awesome, but you guys are the ones that are awesome. Thank you for all your support. And keep it going with uh, starting our review of the Body Media Fit. Really cool piece of technology. This is sort of a fitness technology here. This allows you to track all your fitness to see if you're going up or going down in your weight or whatever your weight, uh, whatever your, so your fitness goals are. This will allow you to track it and keep your progress and make sure that you're going in the right direction. This armband, which has a really, really cool technology inside of it, can uh, track how many steps you take, can track different types of activity from normal activity to vigorous activity. It can track how many calories that you burn. It can also track, you know, how, how much sleep that you really got. So when you go to sleep, uh, last night I had the armband on and let me know that I had about uh, six hours of real sleep. That's pretty cool stuff and it'll track it online for you because it's a little bit of an online component. It can, you can also enter in your meal logs and stuff like that too. And um, there's also an app that you can use on your either your Android or iOS device that allows you to track information as well too. You can do little workouts and stuff on there too. Really, really cool technology here. So um, I've been using it for the last three days. It's really cool. I'm probably going to use it probably up to about a month or so to really get some, really get a good review of this, really see if I've gone up or I've gone down in my weight or I've attained my goals, whatever goals that I've set here. And um, we'll definitely keep you guys updated on a lot of that progress. So you definitely want to check us out on our Facebook fan page, our Twitter account, and at uw1.com. That's where probably most, most of the updates are going to go. I'll probably do a week's uh, summary update this week, sort of my first week with it. And um, it really came handy in time because I'm, I'm starting a new workout, so I'm doing a new workout at the same time as using this, so I'm really interested in that. Also, PAX East is coming along too, so I'm going to be wearing this during PAX East, which is right here in Boston. I'm going to be wearing this along. I want to see how many steps I take during the conference, see how many calories I've burned during that whole time. The, um, the armband's pretty cool here, so it's just the armband here itself. This actually pops out here. If we can get the pop out here on, this, on the right side. Pops out just like that, and there's actually a USB port here that you can plug into your computer that allows you to upload the data to the website. It's also got Bluetooth in it as well too, so that it'll it'll connect over to your to your phone via Bluetooth, and you can see your data and your live progress as you go along. Now there's a couple sensors here in the back. These two sensors here are basically what go on on your skin, and it takes about 10 minutes for it to turn on, up to 10 minutes for it to turn on. And when it turns on, this is what sort of tracks all your all your data and stuff. And basically, where you put the armband. Snap it back in here. We'll see here. Pull my shoulder up. You basically put the armband on your shoulder like this, on your back of your uh, not your shoulder, but the back of your left arm here, and it snaps on. And you'll hear sort of an audible sound when it turns on, when it turns on. That means it's 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 uh, set up, ready to go, and it's tracking your progress. Pretty easy there. And on the front of it, you do have a uh, memory and battery indicator, and you also have this button here. If you hold this. Hit that button, it turns it on. Also sets it up to link to your uh, to your Bluetooth device, either your iOS or Android device. And also, will um, if you hold it down, it'll allow you to stop pairing it as well too. So that's the Body Media Fit. Um, definitely for a deeper, de detailed um, information about it, definitely want to check after after this video here. We're gonna put up the video that we did talking with them at CES this year. Give a real deep, detailed description of Body Media Fit and sort of how it all works. And also, and it'll, it'll be a response to this video, will be from our CES and why our preview of Body Media Fit, you might have seen that before too. You want to take a look at the app and sort of, uh, sort of the online component is there too because they have that information in that video as well. So definitely um, just the beginning of the review. I'm going to start it off with this, probably track my progress as I go along, keep you guys updated and let you know if I've gained weight, lost weight, see where my fitness goal is and see if I've obtained it. So stay tuned for this. We'll probably have the final review of this up probably sometime next month. But uh, definitely keep you guys updated on it. And the best way to keep updated is follow us on our Facebook fan page, follow us on our Twitter account, subscribe to our YouTube page here, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Body Media, the company, has been around since 1999. Um, we were created originally to create body monitoring devices that we used in medical field. Um, in 2008, we actually expanded into consumer products as well. Um, we currently offer two consumer products. 
Um, one of them, both of them are armbands. These are armbands that you wear on your left, uh, your left tricep virtually 24 hours a day. We always like to say 23 hours a day. Give your, give your arm a little bit of a rest. But um, since you're wearing it all day long, um, this, this armband has some sensors on the back of it. And it's actually pulling about 5,000 data points per minute. And the sensors are measuring things like there's a three axis accelerometer, measures your temperature, temperature fluctuations, and galvanic skin response. All that raw data is put into an algorithm. And, um, and we know from lots of validated clinicals that our armbands can accurately predict your um, caloric burn. Um, the only device that can do so at the same level of accuracy as one can find in a laboratory. Okay. We offer, um, by the way, since you're wearing the product 24 hours a day, not only can it capture automatically your caloric burn, it can also capture the quality and quantity of your sleep too. Um, now, for, that's from an automatic standpoint. Um, for both of our products, you have the ability to USB it and to um, upload it into a computer. Once it's in the computer, you also can block your food. So if you think about it, the food is your calories in, um, the calories out is already automatically captured. So you're able to, uh, to manage your fitness level. You can also use it to lose weight. We have two different versions, as I said before. One that only works with the computer, and this version that was just launched right before the holidays, that um, it syncs with your um, with your smartphone and it is Bluetooth enabled. Okay. So, um, with the smartphone link, uh, that allows you to basically. On the fly, put in your, your calorie intake. I mean, definitely from a food logging standpoint, that's so important, right? Because how many people forget what they eat by yes. the time they sit down at a computer or they open a notebook? So the fact that you can carry it around and you can log as you're eating is really, really important. In fact, um, we, we thought it was so important, we created an app even for the original version so you can, you can food log even with the original version on your smartphone. But, um, but in addition to that, in the addition to the food logging, I mean, think about it. You go into a coffee shop, right? And it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you could look at the app and you can see precisely at that point in the day how many calories have you burned, how much have you consumed, and it could help you make a decision, you know, is it a cafe mocha right now or is it just a black coffee? So, you know, it will allow people to make decisions throughout the day to improve their health. Now, a question on the app for food logging. Uh, I know, you know, it's not every day you have, say, uh, a specific type of meal. What about people who, who cook, you know, say, you know, foreign meals or food? an Italian dish as different Well, definitely, um, one of the nice things about our food logging system, because I cook a lot of my own and uh, have my own special recipes, and um, I find that it's really, really easy to put those recipes in, and then they're there forever. You know, so so it's, it has a nice feature where you can put in customized foods, and then because you put them in, it's saved in a special log of favorite foods, and it comes up soon. You know, like whenever you're you're doing a search, those foods come up first. Okay. Now, as you're as you're logging food and it's taking your data, does it give you suggestions along the way? You know, the system doesn't do that yet. Oh, you know, like we don't we don't give you you know precise like, gee, you should do this. You know, gee, you should consider doing that. Um, I see that that might be in the future. For it. Okay. Right now, we just objectively are giving you the data. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. I guess another, I think one of the reasons they've done it that way is, you know, some people, if they find that they are, let's say, consuming more calories than they're burning, there's two ways you could do that. You can reduce the number of calories you're eating or you can increase your activity level. So, you know, we're actually giving people the flexibility in deciding how to solve the equation. How much is the unit retail? Um, the original version, the original version's retail price is one ninety nine. Although it's often discounted, uh, you can get it 
basically between 150 and about 199 dollars. Um, and the Bluetooth version that was just introduced right before the holidays retails for 249. Now is it now is the app like a subscription or something? That um, the app's free uh, for for both users. We do have a subscription above and beyond the purchase of the farm band. The purchase of the art band always includes a trial subscription, which is no less than three months, but could be up to 12 months, depending on where you buy it and what kind of promotion is going on. Once that free trial period is over, there is a subscription that can range depending on how long you're going to commit to. If you commit to a year, it's $6.95 a month. If you want to do it month to month, it's $12.95 a month. But the reason we have the subscriptions, you know, our original one was introduced back in uh, back in 2008, and with the subscriptions, instead of people having a lot of times with technology, you have to change it every 12 months or every 18 months because there's something different, more features. We're actually building the features in through the subscription, so we're constantly giving more more features from the software standpoint. And, and then obviously doing things like confirming the algorithms that they're as accurate as possible and, and you know, just making the whole experience better. Now, uh, one more question. I know this is more future thing. Since you guys have moved to the uh, mobile space with the right. apps, have you also, are you guys looking into uh, other avenues, so for instance, gaming, things like that, where they are bad, you know, adds a lot of activity to that. Yeah, definitely. If you think about, you know, the calories burned that are automatically being pulled off, it's almost like currency. And yeah. How could you how could you play with that currency? You really should come back tomorrow. We actually have a, a partner who's already started doing that, you know, taking our data and, and thinking about ways to create gaming. So we're already working with some different companies to, to think about, you know, the whole edutainment part and gaming part of this. Alright, sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure.